What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. In this video, we're gonna be opening two boxes. One's from my man, Rondi, that I got probably a month and a half, two months ago. Honestly, it might be longer than that. I just haven't needed the actual PDU that's inside it. So that's a 30 amp AAA PDU as far as I know. And then we have a order we put in with gprisers.com. Thank you, Vistang, for sending that over. And we're also gonna talk about all this stuff on the table along with why that rigs up here and my future plans for this channel in the next upcoming days and weeks if you guys haven't noticed already i purchased a video micro by rode brand new attachment for my zv1 it's supposed to make my voice sound a lot clearer for you guys in these videos so let me know in the comments below if this actually works as well as i think it does anyways as you can see all this stuff here on the table this is going to be for some future CPU mining rigs. As you guys may have seen and noticed, you know, if you watch Rabid Mining or pay attention to Raptorium or you CPU mine yourself, Raptorium has been going just basically through the roof. And that's a CPU mineable coin. I've been planning on building a few of these rigs for the past month or so. I finally just got all this stuff collectively put together, purchased and, you know, everything I needed in place to basically start building. In my studio build right here, we have a B450 F Gaming by Asus. This is going to be one of three of these boards that we're gonna be building CPU mining rigs on. So my plan with this one is to take this CPU out of here because this is a Ryzen 5 2600, I believe. And I am going to be putting a Ryzen 9 3900X in this which is right here. That is one of two. I do want to get a third one because I would like to have all three of those boards all the same lined up on a table or a shelf with these brand new motherboard mounts that we have for desktops. Thank you Baldini for designing this and Rabid Mining for the inspiration. If you guys have seen his channel, he has a bunch of CPU mining rigs up on his shelf in his uh, studio or mining room. And I absolutely loved how he had them mounted. So I told Baldini to go take some notes and let's make them. So that's what we did. So that will be all said and done in tomorrow's video, hopefully. But real quick, let's go over this stuff and then we'll get to opening these packages. So right here, this is a AuraFlow by ID Cooling. Honestly, it's just like a no-name brand. Got those for $63 on Amazon before taxes. I am waiting for two more to come in. I ordered four of them just in case one broke. I at least had an extra. Honestly, I might end up using it anyways. We have, again, two Ryzen 9 3900Xs. We have four sets. I'm waiting on the fourth one to come in. 3600 megahertz, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I believe this was only right around $60 as well. Then we have four 450 bronze EVGA power supplies. These are the ones that have the cables like coming out of the back of them. So they're already pre-attached and you can't remove them. This is gonna be perfect for a CPU mining rig because they don't draw a lot of watts, maybe like 200 watts max. So I'll probably only be using, you know, half of this thing, which is good. These cost me $29 a piece on Amazon. Absolutely unreal. And then these two boards right here, we got with the uh, new egg bundle when we were purchasing the 6600 XTs. As you guys know, they like to stick something they can't sell in with the GPU. So I'm stuck with those two boards, so I might as well use them. Then we have a few other things right here on the desk. This one is from Anonymous Mining and this one is from Blue Gnome Mining. This is an aluminum business card of some sort that he can etch actually. They're super thin, legit metal, and yeah. So those are pretty cool. Thank you so much for uh, sending those over. He's a brand new YouTuber. Get over and check out his channel. Also, Anonymous Miner, Raspberry Pi. He sent over this entire kit that I have absolutely no idea how to use. So him and I are gonna collab at some point and he is going to teach me how to use that. Again, Anonymous Miner, thank you so much. He is a YouTuber as well. Please go check out his channel. I'll leave links to both channels in the description below. I do have some Crucial Ballistics laptop RAM here because I'm going to be upgrading this guy right here. 
this right here is the ram that i purchased for this tb360 build well i guess technically this ram that's in this case right now is from my laptop because i realized that this was eight gigabyte and the two sticks i had inside this laptop stock were in total eight gigabyte so this is a four gigabyte stick of ram i want to see if that works in there regardless i'm going to be taking this eight stick back out of that laptop along with the other four and replacing it with these guys right here to hopefully speed up my computer so in tomorrow's video like i said i am going to be ripping this apart and i am going to get it up and running in hive os i will show you guys how to do it set up the flight sheet all that because honestly i have no idea how to do it yet so i can't dive into that right this second but i will do work tonight to get that done for you guys for tomorrow also the tb360 like i just showed you this mining rig needs to come apart so we're going to be doing that brand new used gpu mining rig build from scratch i will do that with you guys for you guys hopefully you're interested in that so stay tuned for that that will be in the next upcoming days as well so without further ado let's open these two packages right here see what's inside and we'll go from there all right so i just cleared off the table so i can uh put whatever's in this box up there so i literally have had this box for about two or three months actually and yeah i just have not needed it but i've known what it was so i didn't open it hopefully he didn't send anything else this should be a 30 amp trip light pdu all right so here it is this is a again 30 amp trip light pdu it's got basically two rows that do 15 each bank one and bank two this is a used unit off of somebody i think on like craigslist or whatever hopefully it all works i'm assuming rondy tested it comes with the uh, cable to go to the wall or the space goats power meter that i also have to wire so point of opening this and talking about it plan is to get a 30 amp space goats power meter so i might get it mounted right here on the wall and maybe put the pdu right up above those uh bins i don't know i might do a little bit of reorganizing i'm not really sure i still got to add some more soundboard on this side i actually just ordered that as well to hopefully cut down the echo in here because i want to start doing a lot more of my builds in this garage so yeah that's going to be my plan let's get this set up out here at some point so i'll be running the wire for that showing you guys how to hook it up in my panel and all that stuff if you guys aren't very handy you don't have the proper licenses please call a licensed professional to install this for you i am going to do it myself and i'll walk you guys through it obviously with the disclaimer that you probably shouldn't do it yourself so that will be at a later date now let's open this box and see what we have received from gpurisers.com so I'm not gonna lie, I love that they use orange tape because I always know who it's from before I even open it or look at it closely. All right. Now I gotta go hunting. Okay, one box. All right, so I move the PDU down there. These boxes are massive. Look at these new stickers they got. They literally look like a riser. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So let's open up this big box first. And we will see what we have. Okay. Whole big box of risers. Look at that. So these risers are the eight capacitor risers. These are better for your GPUs. So I cannot wait to swap all of my risers over at the crypto mining garage. That's the purpose of uh, ordering all of these. This right here, I don't really know what it is. So let's open it. Yes. <laughs> he threw in some stickers. These are those riser stickers. That is amazing. And then we have some GPU risers.com logo stickers. Fantastic because I needed more of those. But yeah, these things are great. All right, so now let's open one of these smaller boxes. So this is 
bags inside of boxes. All right, so let me open all these up. We'll see what's inside. All right, so one bag contained two of the SSDs I ordered and we have some more white splitters. These are absolutely necessary because I need the bigger, stronger, thicker gauge cable for all of my 30 series cards. I just don't trust the thin wired ones that you get on Amazon. They just don't seem right. So thank you so much for sending those over Vistang. You're the best. I'm assuming same thing is in the bottom box and same thing with that box on the bottom there. All right, so I think that's gonna be it. I just wanted to talk about this stuff today for you guys, let you know what my plans are, let you know what all this stuff is gonna be about. Again, thank you Vistang for sending that stuff over. Rondi, my man, thank you so much for that. Anonymous Miner, Blue No Mining, you guys are all fantastic. I love you all, I appreciate the support. I'll always be there for you guys. If you have any questions, please reach out, let me know. Also, stay tuned for tomorrow's CPU build. I'm going to be doing like a noobs guide to build a CPU mining rig. Obviously, show you guys the things you need, the steps. I'll end up ripping that CPU off and putting it aside so I can lay everything out brand new if you guys are interested in building a CPU mining rig yourselves. I'll show you how to do that. Again, we're gonna be using the new Ryzen over here and this BR450 because a lower wattage power supply is more efficient than a higher watts and only pulling a little amount. So keep that in mind. I'll mention that in tomorrow's video as well. As always guys, please don't forget to hit that like button on the way out and do consider subscribing. I try to drop a video each and every single day except for Sundays. Obviously need some time with the family, but I do appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Please stay safe and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.